welcome to Scottio Release Notes. I'm Mark Flam, Director of Enterprise Customer Success, and today I'm excited to show you what's new with Scottio 2 and 2 Plus for the Enterprise app. The Panorama Skill is an exciting new feature available on Scottio. This flight skill allows you to take horizontal, vertical, and spherical panoramic photos while in flight. The horizontal option captures a 180 degree horizontal panorama centered at the horizon. The vertical option captures a full 180 degree vertical panorama. And the spherical option provides a full 360 degree equirectangular image. Use the preview window to reduce setup time and help you frame your panorama for the perfect shot. Popular with real estate and construction, this skill can be used to capture large areas of interest in a single image, capture scenic promotional content, and create 360 degree images. Use a third party interactive viewer to explore fully stitched 360 degree photos. Be sure you allow the stitching to complete post flight before powering off your drone. You now have the ability to adjust the camera roll along with the flight path while flying in the keyframe skill. With dynamic mode, you can simulate immersive dynamic shots by having Skydio automatically roll the gimbal angle during flight. With recorded mode, you can set your gimbal angles at the keyframe points. The gimbal roll will smoothly transition between these points. When the playback style is set to free look, you can manually control the gimbal roll with the right wheel or paddle. This new feature will allow you to capture incredible immersive footage, giving you the ability to simulate dynamic movement with your Skydio drone. We have improved keyframes to greatly reduce drift. This makes replaying keyframes and long distance keyframes even more accurate. When resuming a keyframe after a battery change, your drone will automatically snap to the first keyframe and use visual information to more accurately localize to the start point. Make sure your drone launches from the same position and orientation when performing a keyframe across multiple flights. As you know, we recently announced Scout, an exciting new feature that provides GPS overwatch tracking of your Skydio controller or Skydio beacon. To improve the Scout experience, we have now added an AR marker over the tracked subject. This allows the operator to more easily orientate themselves to the tracked GPS while in flight. We've also added the option to select the positioning behavior of your drone while it's in scout mode. The fixed setting will keep your drone on a tether to your tracked subject, but the drone will not automatically rotate if your subject changes direction. Your drone will continue to track the subject while the perspective of the drone remains fixed until changed by the operator. When the relative setting is selected, the drone will reposition itself around the track device to match changes in the subject's direction. When this happens, the drone will adjust positions and rotation to maintain the tether and the overwatch perspective. These options allow you more flexibility for tracking your subject when flying in the scout flight skill. As you know, the Skydio battery indicator has different colors marking the remaining battery for your flight. The yellow segment indicates the amount of battery you need to return from your current position to your launch point, or home point if one is set. If low battery auto return is on, then once you reach the yellow battery level, your drone will automatically return to your home point. This is a great way to fly worry-free, especially if you are flying over water or you do not have an alternative landing area to recover your drone if you lose battery. Note, a home point must be set to use the low battery auto return feature. Now available on the Enterprise Controller, you can search by location or address when in the map view. When the coordinates toggle is enabled, the search icon shows on the map view. Tap search by location to input an address or point of interest. Tap search by coordinate to return the lat long input field. We have made it easier to enable an upward capture so you can use your Skydio drone to look up and capture surfaces. Simply enable the upward capture toggle in your 2D scan setting and Sky will automatically adjust the camera gimbal pitch to look up when it detects the height of the drone is below the scanned surface. 
For a full list of Skydio 3D Scan features, visit our support page at skydio.com forward slash support. With Skydio Cloud, you can now share media from a flight. Generate a link for that flight and share the media with anyone inside or outside your organization. You can also set the expiration time for the link so you can control who accesses the media and when. You can now delete media in your Skydio Cloud account. Select a single piece of media or a group of media to delete. Deleted media cannot be recovered, so it's always a good idea to check with users in your organization before permanently deleting media. Your battery data is now available in your Skydio Cloud account. This allows you to track which battery flew each flight and gives you data for the lifetime statistic of each battery in your fleet. This is an excellent tool to use to track battery usage, especially for UAV programs that adhere to strict maintenance schedules and equipment flight time logs. Here at Skydio, we are committed to improving so you have the best possible experience with our products. With these new features, you have even more ways to utilize your Skydio drone. For more information about this release, visit our support articles at skydio.com forward slash support. Thank you and fly safe.